All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set your um, printer's color profile um, up directly on the printer. Uh, that way, anytime you print, regardless of what program you're printing from, um, the color profile that will print is the one that you set up and you select. So, uh, if you're on a, a Mac, uh, I don't. I'm sure it's very similar to that this process, but this is uh, the, the tutorial for. Uh, PC. So you're going to go to your start menu <coughs> um, and you're going to go to settings and then when your settings opens up you're going to click on devices and it'll open up here and then click on printer and scanners and then you're going to select the printer from your list. Um, I've got the Epson Workforce 7720 uh, so I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to click on manage and it's going to open up this little dialog box here um, you're going to go to printer properties, not printing preferences. So printer properties here, and then it's going to open up a, another dialog box. You're going to select color management, and then you're going to click on the little color management box here, and it's going to bring you this uh, final dialog box here. What you're going to do is you're going to select your device from the drop down list. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to select my printer, the Epson Workforce 7720 series that I'm using. Um, by default, I believe uh, you've just got the one setting or the one printer uh, profile here. Um, you're going to want to click on Use My Settings for this device, and then you're going to want to change this from automatic to manual and then you are going to add in the color profile that you want. So for our ink, this uh, CIE RGB color profile is the color profile that I added. So what you do is you would click add. It's gonna bring you up a little box here and then inside this box is gonna be all of the ICC profiles that your computer has installed. So if you've got our um, profile downloaded and you double clicked it, it installed it onto your computer and then this is where you're going to find that. So you're just going to scroll down the list until you find it. So you see it here and then you're going to um, click OK. It's going to add it to your list both here um, at the top uh, for the ICC profiles and then for the advanced colors. Um, and you're going to click on CIE RGB and you're going to select set as default profile. And what that does is it's going to set that color profile for your default printing profile. So if you're printing in silhouette, um, it's going to print out the those color that color profile rather than the standard Epson profile. Same thing with Photoshop or um, any other print program. This is setting the printer settings to the actual printer, um, not to the program that you're doing. So that's a, a good workaround for people who do use silhouette for printing. Um, and once you've selected that, um, you're good to just hit OK here, and your printer should be ready to go set up with that new color profile. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to drop them here in the comments, or um, comment or message me on F Facebook or in the Facebook group. But uh, other than that, we'll see you in the next video.